What is up everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. In today's video, we're going to be painting a garage floor. I'm joined with a special guest. Mr. Billy, you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Hey guys, I'm Billy Davidson with Davidson Pressure Washing and Painting. You want to go ahead and tell us a little bit about this job, Mr. Billy? Yeah, absolutely. We had power washed this gentleman's home a couple months ago and uh, we seen that the, the garage floor was a little slick after we washed it. So we had kind of approached him about it and uh, told him that we could probably make it a non-slip surface. He really wasn't even aware of what could be done to the floor. The gentleman was actually 93 years old, still driving, still getting out and about, but we were concerned about the garage floor being a little slick. Okay, so you guys had done some work for him previously though, right? Yes, yeah, we did power wash the house and then that's where we mentioned to him that his garage floor could probably uh, be recoded and made a non-slip surface. Okay, awesome. So how did you guys get that initial business from him? Uh, he initially called us off of a flyer. Okay, super cool. And then we upsold them on the garage floor. Um, so can you kind of talk about the prep work that was needed in order to paint this garage floor? Yeah, absolutely. We actually use a solution of chemical degreaser and sodium hypochlorite mixture, along with a couple other things to kind of clean the vehicle fluids off the floor. Then we surface cleaned it really well. And if anybody's interested in how we mix our chemicals, they can check out our chemical ratio chart in a link below in the description. Okay, and I'll also have that uh, pinned down below in a comment. So if you guys are interested in the chemical ratio chart, check out that first link. Uh, what type of paint are we going with on the floor, Mr. Billy? This right here was a Sherwin-Williams product um, garage floor and patio paint. And um, what we do is normally is have the additive, a non-slip additive added to the paint at the paint store. Okay, and is that an additional cost for the non-slip additive? Very slightly, uh, generally about 5% uh, of the total paint cost. Right, and so what's the difference? I mean, obviously it is non-slip, but is there any difference in like the paint consistency or anything with the non-slip? Yeah, once they add the non-slip additive in it, it makes it a little grimy, so you can't spray it through a machine, so you do have to roll it or brush it on. Okay, awesome. And now, could you guys have sprayed this on? I mean, not if it was non-slip, could you spray it on? Yes, if it was non-slip, we could have sprayed this material on. It's just a basic latex paint. It had the consistency of regular house paint. But once you do add that non-slip grit to it, you no longer can run it through an airless spray machine. Okay. And would it have saved some time, though, to run it through the machine if, if that was possible on this job? Uh, probably not too much because you would still have to cover up the surrounding areas for uh, fallout or either overspray. So sometimes it's best just to get down there on hands and knees and get it done. So besides the paint, what materials do you need for a job like this? Um, you would need a, uh, a paint stick, something that actually screws into a paint roller handle and a three quarter inch nap roller and uh, a bucket and uh, maybe a couple small paint brushes and maybe a good sponge. Okay, awesome. And we kind of discussed the prep work before we got into it, but can you kind of just break down the steps for us one more time of, of the whole job? Yeah, absolutely. First, when we first came in, um, we will treat the floor with a degreaser and sodium hypochlorite solution and a pump up sprayer. Let it sit for a few minutes, take a scrub brush and kind of agitate it let it sit for about another 10 minutes. That's what we call a dwell time. And then after that, we are clear to go in with our power washer and surface clean the entire garage floor. And then after that, we'd go ahead and rinse off the debris just with a water hose to get it nice and clean. Now, for somebody who wants to kind of get into this type of work, what would you say the hardest part for them would be initially? I would say the, the hardest part is actually contacting the homeowner, and which is really not that difficult to do as long as you want to get out there and talk to them and, uh, you know, keep a sharp eye on these garage floors or these patio coverings and just make a mention to them, you know, hey, what you can do to it, make it look brand new again and actually make it a non-slip surface especially if you got elderly people in the household or even small kids running around with water guns and that sort of thing during the summer. Right. So how long did this job take, Mr. Billy? This job from start to finish took less than two hours uh, when we were actually doing the painting. Uh, now, we did take about 45 minutes to do the prep work a couple of days prior to that, and we had to let it dry. And that was just uh, putting the degreaser down in the chemicals like we had spoke about and running the surface cleaner on it. And we come back two days later. And uh, once it's dry, we'll go ahead and put this over it. Okay. And you kind of, can you kind of run us through price? Sure. Absolutely. The price for labor is about $500. Um, and then we charge an additional $250 for our paint cost. And uh, that way we can um, let the customer know up front that the paint may be a little less than 250 It may be a little more. 
but they would pay the difference. If the paint's a little less, it saves us some money. Okay, excellent. So, Mr. Billy, you did a fantastic job on this. It looks it looks awesome. Um, we're wrapping up the video now. Can you go ahead and give us a word of the day for this one? Okay, great. Uh, the word of the day, let's do paint roller. The word of the day is going to be paint roller. If you made it this far in the video, comment down below paint roller, and I'll hashtag you a real one. Uh, make sure you guys check out Mr. Billy's channel. It'll be linked in the comment section in the description, as well as that formula sheet if you need any help with those ratios. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. And until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.